Hey there and welcome to Recap Studio, in today's video we are going to recap a 2015 Canadian apocalyptic drama movie, titled, Into the Forest. Film is about two sisters, Nell, and Eva, live together in an secluded woodland house. As the world teeters on the brink of apocalypse, they must stick together if they are going to survive. In the near future, two teenage sisters, who live in a remotely located home with their father in a forest. There is a massive, continent-wide power outage that appears to be part of a region-wide technological collapse. The car battery is drained, so they are left stranded for days. Eventually their father gets the car working and they make it to the nearest town where they buy supplies including gas from a man called Stan. Later Eva attends dance class while her sister meets up with Eli, a boy she has a crush on. Returning home, they see a stranded car and the girl's father offers to help the passengers, but after they brandish guns the family move on. The father says they will not return to town until the power is restored. Later, while cutting down a tree, he cuts his leg badly with a chain sore. Knowing he is bleeding to death, he tells the girls to take care of each other and love one another. They bury him where he died in the forest. Two months pass and the girls are low on food. Eli arrives one night, having walked there looking for Nell. He says the surrounding houses are all abandoned. After Nell and Eli sleep together, he says there may still be power and order in Boston. He convinces Nell to go with him. They leave, but Nell turns back after a night away from home, unwilling to leave Eva. Nell researches plants for food and medicine, and forages. After a night of celebration when Nell confirms she is not pregnant, while Nell is in the forest foraging, Eva is surprised by Stan while she is chopping wood. He assaults her and rapes her before stealing most of the remaining gas and the car. The girls board up the house and Eva stays within doors. Eva throws up, and soon realizes she is pregnant. To Nell's surprise, Eva has decided to keep the baby, saying that she doesn't want to lose any more. During a bad storm, several beams of the roof break and Eva goes into labor. The sisters flee for a hollowed-out tree stump that once served as their playhouse, where Eva gives birth to a baby boy. Returning to their ruined home, Eva decides to burn down the house so that anyone passing will think that they died in a fire. Before setting the house ablaze, they collect a few precious items and keepsakes, and begin to walk into the darkened forest. The film is regrettably more adept at conveying weakness than it is at conveying strength, it's never been more tempting to embrace the idea that the world would be in better hands with women at the wheel, or that we all suffer from a system that denies them the opportunity to participate in their own power, but into the forest gets lost in the woods as it tries to articulate its most abstract ideals. The movie's greatest strength is that Paige and Wood are wholly believable as sisters. Nell and Eva, very different people, and at different places in their lives, but the actresses manage to draw the gulf between their characters without ever defaulting into archetypes. Eva tends towards depression, while Nell is younger and has yet to share some of her siblings' disappointments, but family members are not designed to be foils for each other, and the contrasts between these two women never feel overly convenient. Their love for one another may not be quite as explicit as it is in the book, but they do love each other, and are stronger because of that. Page and would navigate this difficult, often half-formed material with great tenderness and surgical precision, together, through thick and thin, they convey a feeling of great personal growth, revealing new wrinkles to their roles long after Rosemar's camera has stopped looking for them. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.